Now, <clears throat> when it comes to talking about um, <clears throat> like products, now Capture was telling, asking me about this, the like products that that was a trend in the 80s, and then any products that I wanted or or that I bought that I liked or it failed or they were failures. If I can remember some off the bat, I mean, it's like, <clears throat> during, I know like in the early 80s, things like Rubik's Cubes and Atari was popular, you know, back then. And I mean, we had those back then. <clears throat> and then going on to like, I know like beach cruisers was, was popular by us during the early 80s, you know, and then if I can remember going on to say mid 80s, I remember Cabbage Patch Dolls and the Nintendo 8-bit systems and then, you know, like the Sega Master and then what else do I remember like about the mid 80s, if I can remember hey, my memory is really good with these, with this kind of thing in the mid 80s, like uh, let me see uh, <coughs> Well, in the early 80s, well, I know in the early 80s, you know, tape recorders are like, were like the trend, you know, it was like a big trend, you know, like, and then by one, what, what was popular or in the mid 80s, mid 80s, and they're going on to like, say the late 80s, like, if I can't remember off the bat of any products that I, that I learned that, that I bought that I either bought or that I've seen people buy and they were failures or anything like that. I can't remember of anything. I can't remember of any um, products that were recalled or whatever. I mean, I can't remember. But, well, I guess one reason why is because we didn't have all the social media back then, you know, that would tell us. I mean, we had TV, but, I mean, we didn't have a lot of social media or I didn't pay much attention to it in the early age because I was a kid then but <clears throat> anyway about the products I mean like if I can remember the trend you know like well we had some of those things and well I do remember like these um the, for the toys I used to do these speak and spell although I never owned one or my sister never owned any of those things or anything but but because they were probably too expensive or some well anyway um in the 80s or the late 80s <clears throat> what do I remember well I know like the Genesis Genesis came out in the late 80s and I bought one <clears throat> gone in that time and then like Christmas well I do know like in 1988 or 1987 I mean, I was wanting a video camcorder so badly back then. Anyway, I wanted a video camera so badly, and so, I mean, and Toys R Us, you know, they, they, um, they had these, um, PXL 2000 camcorders, you know, and they had, I mean, it was a, uh, it was called a Fisher Price. Well, it was a Fisher Price sold in Toys R Us. It was a video camera for kids, basically. But, you know, video cameras in general back then was only an adult thing, you know, well, in the, in the sense of having money to buy those, you know. You know, what I mean by that is, like, you needed a job that pays really good, I mean, to get one of those. You had to be rich to, to get one of those things or other things like that. But for this case, with me wanting one of those so badly, a camcorder so badly, and then that's when... Toys R Us, you know, I saw that Toys R Us actually had this kid, kid, um, camcorder, and it was this Fisher Price, uh, PXL 2000, <clears throat> and <clears throat> with money, with a little bit of money that I saved, I was able to pick one of those up for, um, <clears throat> I was able to pick it up for like 229 and now um, that's like in today's money it's equivalent to like six hundred dollars today i'm gonna get this ladder right here because i want to get this camcorder and and it's up here i have i mean i bought it the other day on ebay <clears throat> i mean this one i mean it does turn on and everything but the picture is really bad 
I'm just taking it out to show it to you guys. So. <clears throat> this is the camcorder that I'm talking about. 1987 when I bought this. I bought this at Toys R Us in 1987 for 229 at the time. And you know, I'll tell ya. I mean I got I got so excited. No I asked I I waited like I had like two sleepless nights waiting to buy this. And I, I, I mean, I could not wait, and I wanted my mom to drive me up there with this car that we had. So, uh, you picture, like, my mom driving me to go get it, and then, and then I'm sitting in the back seat of this car. You think of it being the 80s, 1987, going to get my camcorder at Toys R Us. And so, and then I get it, and then being so happy, being so happy that I had a camcorder in my hand, you know, being, and I bring it into my car, into this car that was my mom's, and then I'm all opening it up, opening it up, you know, yeah. So I'm all opening it up, you know, like while my mom drives me home from the Toys R Us, and I just spent um, two twenty nine for this, and then and then I'm all excited to to use it right there and then. And this is my very first camcorder, and then and then I'm and then I put in the batteries that it came with, I put in the the um, how I call it. The double A, it was six batteries that it came with. If I remember that, I tell you, put the batteries in there, and then two more over here. And then I put the batteries in, and then I put the tape in, and I was all like ready to make some cool ass color 1080p v VCR movies. I was getting ready to make some bitching ass 1080p 4K, you know. I was like. Like, that's what I was expecting out of this, you know? I was expecting 4K, you know? <laughs> and so I was like, so I turned it on and it appeared that it was working and everything. And then I press record. <clears throat> and then I'm all recording in the night. You looking through the viewfinder, you know? I'm all recording in the night. Nighttime, and I was making a video and it's like I was like all happy and stuff and I was recording everything you know and then it was like it was in the night you know and I was expecting it to come out like 1080p you know <laughs> yeah I was expecting it to come out like all nice and clear with full of color like this video is right now I mean I was expecting it to come out nice and stuff and then and then when I come home and then hooked it up to this TV, this little TV that this came with, you know, as part of the price. 229. I can't even get this thing out. So anyway. But it has this this little TV that it came with. And and I used to hook it up, be able to hook it up with the switch box and everything that it came with. Remember these switch boxes? Hook it up with one of these. So I'm all hooking it up and then I could see the video through that. And then for the biggest disappointment of my life to find out that the videos came out like shit. I mean, it was a shitty, shitty recording video, you know, I mean, shit. I mean, it's like it was, it was a very big disappointment for me back in my day when I got this. Because, you know, like camcorder, I saw it on display. They had it on display and everything. <clears throat> and I saw, I was able to see a video through that little display TV that they had. 
<clears throat> but you know it's like I was able to see the video and, and it looked pretty good but the TV was black and white so I mean I was sure that it was gonna be a little bit better than that you know I mean I well I mean I felt that I could just I, I wonder what it looks like on color TV you know so <clears throat> I mean, I was expecting it to look good, you know, like for the videos to come out really nice and stuff, you know. <clears throat> and so, but it was a big disappointment for me to learn, to have learned that it was nothing like what I thought. I mean, that it's not coming out exactly, it's not coming out like what I thought it was going to be. So anyway, so like I say, being very disappointed on that camcorder because it, it was not I mean it just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be I mean and, and then to top it all off it was black and white you know and I thought it would be color and so I was just straight out disappointed from the day that I got it no I, I was never really I was never happy with that camcorder what from the day that I got it I never was. I mean, I, but I just lived with it for, for for a while, and then you know, two weeks later, I wanted to return it. <clears throat> I wanted to return it and get a refund because I just totally didn't like it. You know, I didn't like it. I mean, I decided that I wanted to return it and get a refund and just go ahead and save another five more months, another six more months to get my to get this one right here. You know, back in my day, shit, tell you, you know. So back in my time, you know, <clears throat> so I kept it for like two weeks, used it for two or so weeks, and then, and then, you know, I wanted, about, first of all, I, I was too, too um, shy, or I was either too shy, or, I mean, I was afraid of my mom getting on me for wanting to return it, because, you know, I used to always want my mom to be the one returning the things, because I was too shy to talk to the sales per that back then you know but but before doing that before attempting to return it to the store I decided I wanted to try to sell it myself no well you gotta remember that I didn't have any I didn't have um Craigslist or I didn't have um offer up back then so the only way I was really able to sell anything out in the street would be either a garage sale or <coughs> Or, I mean, well, we were not going to have any garage sales anytime soon. So, I mean, I figured that I would just get, like, a big piece of wood that we had lying around, a big one. And I, would, I went ahead and spray-painted uh, PXL 2000 camcorder for sale. You know, that's what I did one time. I um, spray-painted a big sign, and then I brought the board over to the corner of the Covina house that I used to live in. And then I just put it there, you know, with my number and everything. <laughs> I did that once, you know. I did that, but I mean, I, I right away took it down because I knew that it was not going to work, you know. And then, and then that's when I told my mom that I want to return it. I want to take it to the store to return the camcorder. But then my mom gave me a suggestion that why don't we just wait until Christmas. Why don't we wait until after Christmas when everybody's returning stuff for Christmas, you know, like after Christmas. Why don't we wait? And so I said, okay, well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I'll just wait. And so until then, I just made use of this camcorder until then, you know. I just recorded even though I totally didn't like it, you know. I mean, but I felt that, I mean, recording a video like that looks like shit like that, it was better than nothing at all, I suppose. But, I mean, and I, ha I, ha I have those videos, by the way. I have them still. And I, I'm going to post a few right now. I'm going to post some up for you guys to see it. And you'll see what I mean. And I, I'll even post up a part that, that tell, that's going to tell you that, I mean, my, my review for that camcorder there. <clears throat> I actually posted a review. And then I actually kind of like made a video review of this using this camcorder. I was basically just saying, you know what? I'm, I just don't like this camera. I don't like it. You know, I was saying that. And I'll, I'll post that one up right now. So, so that's the little story about 
you know, about the, the stuff in, in the 80s that we had, you know, like the trend or, I mean, that's how things looked, you know, that, that's, that's like a little story that I have to say for that, for during those times, you know. And then while well, going on to the late 80s, like, what do I, well, I know, like, game systems are popular, like, gadgets, or, I mean, gadgets, we're talking about gadgets, but I know, like, in the mid-80s, I got a computer, I got, like, my dad and my mom bought me, and Arnold, a computer for Christmas, and it was, it's that Atari computer that you, that I showed you the video of the other day, so... Well, anyway, I mean, well, I hope you liked this video about about what the trends are. I know I'm gonna be, you're gonna be seeing some pictures up right now. One. 
Bail to answer. <laughs> One is egg to <laughs> One less man to pick up a Lift up my arms. I should be happy, but all I do <laughs> is cry. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. Let's see, Chano. Come on, give him a close up. There's one thing, there's one problem. I don't like this video camera that much. I'm gonna sell it for 200 bucks. I don't know who would buy it though. I think somebody, no, I think some girl in my school wanted to buy this video camera off of me for 200 bucks. <coughs> this is December the 10th. Two more weeks before Christmas. There's a house. There's a new Atari. This is a cool video camera. It is, you know. But I don't I don't like it because it's in black and white and I want a collar video camera. So I'm gonna have to save up for a collar VCR camera. A better one. Cause this one doesn't record that, I mean, it sometimes always comes out too dark. this camcorder back tomorrow and I'm gonna get something else out of this camcorder I'm probably gonna get money and or something else out of it out of this camcorder here I have no idea so when I take this camera back tomorrow I'm gonna either get something else or get money. I think I'm, I'm, I think I could only get something else out of it. And, I, and with that money, I can probably buy a Sega, like Torpedo, and I can buy a Torpedo present, and I can buy my own, my own game, another game for the Sega. So that that'll be like 160 bucks right there, and I'm gonna give my mom 50 for doing it for me, and I'll have probably at least 40 bucks left over okay here's a little video I did this morning which is which is um recorded on August I mean on um, December the 11th or what's today oh boy well it's 11 more days before Christmas okay here's a video now